Hello, this is Beth Cyrus in your database editor again. Here in this video, I will be describing the tabs up on top here and going through and showing you a little bit about how to sort and what you would do in these tabs. 90% um, of the time you'll be in the songs tab. That's when you're searching for a song, you would search on the songs tab. So that's probably where most of you'll go. But sometimes you might want to explore what else is here. So let's click on the creators tab and this little eye is an information bubble. So if you hover over it, it will tell you what a creator is. And so you will see all of the creators. They are uh, currently in alphabetical order by first name. I don't have them. Uh, you can't alphabetize it by last name uh, because of the way I've put in the names. But what you would do is just search for a name. If you wanted to find Bach, for instance, you can just do a search in that search bubble. Hmm, why is that coming up, Bach? That's funny. Okay. Okay. Bach, Bach, Brubacher. <laughs> Carla Bach. Okay. So, let's see. Did we pass by JS? Okay, there's a JS Bach. All right. So, then you could, uh, you could go look deeply into one of the composers. You, there's his picture. These are all the songs he's got in this database. And by the way, if you click on this blue arrow, it will expand that uh, when uh, there's more than can fit in our little box there. And you'll see, I, I already went through these columns in another video, but anyway, you can see what all is going on. Oh, no, I didn't. I went over the columns in the songs, songs tab. Okay, so I'll do this here. Uh, gender, if the person is a person of color or an LGBT person, religious tradition, country, birth, death date, and website. So if you want to learn more about a composer or find more about them, this is where you would go. Here is the tab for countries. This is in alphabetical order currently. You can reorder them however you want though. And remember, if you reorder things or resize things, it's only on your screen that it happens and doesn't affect anyone else. So don't worry. So I just put little flags because I think it's kind of fun. And you can see uh, so many different countries from, uh, oh, African multi, let's see, what did I write here? African multiple countries. I think this song, no one knows exactly what country it came from. So I put it just African. And I know Africa is not a country. And then all these different countries. And genders, I actually have Four, male, female, non-binary, slash gender fluid, slash trans, and then unknown. There's a few people I don't know if they're a Chris female or Chris male. And um, so if anyone knows any of those unknowns, let me know. Holidays. These are holidays that everyone celebrates, not just Unitarian Universalists. And so you can filter by holidays and songs tab, or if you just want to see what they all are, you can come here. If you uh, wanted to find a spring song, you could you could actually go through here and click that little box and you can just pull up all the spring songs here in a big list. Anyway, just different ways to view things. Here are all the different instrumentations. Acapella, by the way, is an instrumentation in this database. Accordion crystal glasses, I have a piece for something. Uh, maybe it's acapella with crystal glasses in case you ever want that. <laughs> Mandolin, I mean, there's just about everything in this. A few ensembles, string orchestra, string quartet. There was a piano trio, piano duet, uh, piano three hands, piano four hands. And Shruti box. Really just about any instrument you can imagine is in this list. Languages, again, are by alphabetical order. If there's no language, if it's instrumental, I just put that little dash. American Sign Language, Greek, Hawaiian, Latin, Tizulu, lots and lots of languages. All the different publishers, probably well, don't need to look at that very much. Here are all the submitters and you can see which, what they submitted and you, there you can have access to their email address sometimes. Here are all the themes. This might be good to look at sometimes in this way instead of looking on the songs 
tab to just look through the list of themes every once in a while and just refresh your memory about all the different themes that we have here. I try to combine them because we already have 50 themes, so I try to combine things that are alike. We do have Soul Matters themes in here. I re refresh those every year. So, And if there's a theme that you really wish we had, just shoot me a note and I will see if I can fit it in. Traditions is religious traditions. And remember that the little I here in the column means an information bubble. And make sure that you're looking up Confucianism, not Confucianist, or Deism, not Deist. The ism and not the ist, if that makes any sense. And I did find a little symbol for each one just for fun. And you can see the songs that are have a text that it goes with each tradition. And then also the composers and lyricists can, religious tradition as well. Voicings. Here's a list of all the voicings we have. So, so many. And there's also spoken word is in here and round is also in here and narrator hmm i wonder if i should combine spoken word and narrator no nope, that's not the same thing exactly is it and if it's a completely instrumental piece you'll see that here as well so those are all the tabs if you click if let's go back to the songs tab which is where you'll typically live if you click any of these uh, highlighted gray buttons it will shoot you over to one of these. Uh, it will extract information from the tabs. So this is the uh, submitters tab. So it will show you this person's entry in the submitters tab. It's just a different way to view it. It would look uh, horizontal if we looked on the submitters tab. And it looks vert vertical here when we just select this little uh, highlighted gray name here. I hope that helps to understand the tabs a little bit. I have a separate video for the columns, which are down here. So if you'd like a little bit more understanding on how the database is put together, you can listen to that video as well. Just a reminder, this whole database works much better on a computer than on an iPad or on a phone. Uh, you have much more limited uh, accessibility on those than um, on a computer. You can have all these filters, groups, and sorts. So good luck. Let me know if I can help. I am at database at auumm.org. Take care. Thanks.